Well, the original owners of this house, who were Fanny and Charlie Pike, would be so amazed they could see what the cabin that they built in 1909 was turned into. That one room with a sleeping loft was expanded and became one of Bowers first tourist homes and known as Tree Lawn Lodge. And of course his most famous visitor was who else? Lucy Maud Montgomery who came here in 1922. Linda and I bought this house in 1990 after we honeymooned in PEI. A strong possibility this house was going to be torn down. And it was all Linda who said, no, they cannot do this. We bought it, should be started for an hour. We've had more than 100,000 visitors from every corner of the globe. China, Iceland, Palestine, Jerusalem, you name it. And the most exciting thing is that there's now a recommendation that this place be turned into a heritage site. And what better tribute to all the work that Linda has put into it. Despite not being located in Prince Edward Island, Bala's Museum has established a name for itself as one of the best museums of its kind. Not only does it house one of the largest collections of Lucy Maud Montgomery's books, but visitors can also see the boat used in the famous Lady of Shalott scene in the TV movie Anne of Green Gables, as well as the silver tea set that was given to Lucy Maud Montgomery as a wedding gift in 1911. In addition to its large collection, Bala's museum has attracted the likes of Lucy Maud Montgomery's granddaughter Luella, and annually holds a celebration of one of Maud's most famous works with Everything Anne Day. Visitors can partake in costume contests and races, witness a reenactment of Lucy Maud Montgomery's arrival in Bala, and engross yourself in Muskoka's colorful history. Come visit Bala's museum with memories of Lucy Maud Montgomery to experience the legacy of one of Canada's most renowned writers and take a step back in time as you get a look at an exciting period in Bala's history.